groovy. It's caught on in a flash. They did the mash. They did the monster mash. Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here, and I'm here to review Evil Dead 2. So, Evil Dead 2 is the comedy horror film written by Sam Raimi and Scott Spiegel, and directed by Sam Raimi, who also directed the original film. And it also has the returning star of Bruce Campbell. This film is about when Bruce apparently goes back into the cabin and really there's not much to explain. You know the spirits still hold up in the cabin. There's a group of these strangers. Demons attack. I really liked the original Evil Dead. I thought it was a really good movie. It was just so original and so inventive. It's a great film. So Evil Dead 2 does have a cult following but honestly in my opinion I didn't care for Evil Dead 2. Yes I know what you're all probably thinking. You're probably thinking, Tony, you suck. What the fuck, man? Evil Dead 2 is the fucking shit. I know, I know. I'm sorry. It's just my opinion. I didn't care for Evil Dead 2. That's not to say I downright hated the movie. I just didn't think it was very good. Let me get into my positives before I do say what problems I had with the film. The stop motion, for one, just like with the original film, it looks spectacular. The stop motion is perfect. And the first 20 minutes, I do think, was really fun. Now, Sam Raimi had to kind of do a recap of the events of the first film since he apparently lost the rights to the original film. So the first seven minutes is kind of him starting all over and then getting back on track after that first seven minutes. Like, there's this silly bit with Bruce Kemp is actually shooting his own hand like his hand is moving like ee -ee -ee -ee, and he's shooting it that was actually flat out weird that's gotta be one of the most bizarre things i've seen and it was downright hilarious i would say after that hand scene actually that's when i began not to really have fun with the film afterwards i thought bruce cool as he was with the original film was really good he embraces the role of ashwell and he just definitely provide a great screen presence for the movie the cinematography looks great just like in the original sam raimi knows how to make his movies look beautiful and even though this film wasn't all that great i will say it is a well directed movie sam raimi never got lost with this film he knew what camera angles to use the techniques just how he directed the film over Overall, it was pretty good. Now, my problems with this film, however, is that the storyline, there isn't much in the storyline. Simple is a good thing, but when you use it the right way. In the movie's case, it's not very good because the biggest problem this film suffers from is that it's rinse and repeat. Rinse and repeat. There's preposterous things, a little bit of dialogue. Preposterous things, a little bit of dialogue. Preposterous things, and it's basically the same old rinse and repeat throughout this whole movie. And it wasn't very entertaining. It just got so fucking repetitive. And that's what really bugged me about Evil Dead 2, actually. Like, like I said, I enjoyed the first 20 minutes. And of course, the blood, gore, all that stuff was very good. But after a while, it's just all like it was hard to care. I did enjoy the climax. I forgot to mention that. I thought the final 15 minutes was really cool and how the film ended was nice. But after the hand scene, I felt like they were going too far-fetched with the stupidity. It just feels really forced. I know the purpose was to laugh and obviously it works for those that really enjoyed this movie. But for me... I'm just saying they're kind of going, Ugh, is it going to be like this throughout the whole movie? And like, the more the movie goes further, the more stupid it really gets. Like, there's literally a scene where an eyeball pops out and goes inside a girl's mouth. Also, how in the hell does this make any kind of sense to the movie overall? <laughs> it 
it tries so hard to make me laugh, but for the most part, it really doesn't work. And it's hard to have fun with this film when it's the same thing. Another thing is that this girl screams every five minutes and it annoyed me so much. Like something would pop up and she'll go, ah, 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 ah. The girl never stops screaming and it drove me insane. The storyline wasn't anything too interesting. How the stupid scenes were executed even felt out of place to me. The movie does feel really choppy in terms of the pacing and how even sometimes it could be edited. So overall, I really did not care for Evil Dead 2, you guys. That's great if you guys love this movie or enjoy it for that matter. But me personally, I could not get into Evil Dead 2. It's repetitive. Storyline was bland. Nowhere near as good as the Evil Dead. Not even close at all. I'm sorry, you guys. In my opinion, Evil Dead 2 gets 2 out of 4 stars. It could have been a whole lot better. Now I'm on a quest to see and review Army of Darkness. Hopefully, in my opinion, it's better than Evil Dead 2.